One of the biggest problem with a video and a animation is that we don't have control over the camera angles, motion and video frame rates that are the essentials for a good looking video. But not anymore because Pika Labs which is the best free AI video generator have just introduced a bunch of new commands to control your camera angles, motion and video frame rates to get your desired results. And in this video, we're gonna learn all of these commands to get some good output results. So without any further ado, Let's dive into the video. So first of all, head over to the Pika Labs Discord server and you can see this is too busy right now. And to get rid of this, you can click on that icon and then right click on Pika Labs and select message. And now we have separate space to work with. Now simply type forward slash and select create prompt and then click on that more button to upload your images. So let me upload an image. So our image is uploaded and let's try new commands. So first of all, we're gonna learn dash camera command to control the camera angles and the first command that we have here is dash camera zoom in and this will add a zoom in effect in your video so this is the output video and now you can see we have a really good zoom in effect in this video that looks really really good and in alternative to zoom in effect we also have the command to add zoom out effect for that you just have to type dash camera zoom out and now you can see we have a really good zoom out effect in our video well you can also control the amount of motion in your video that we're gonna learn in the second part of this video so next we have the commands to control the panning effect in our videos and the first command is dash camera pan up and now we have a really good upside camera motion in our video and similarly we have the commands to control the camera motion from left to right right to left and top to bottom so let's try top to bottom and type dash camera pan down and here we have the camera motion from top to bottom but you can notice we have a really slow camera movement but don't worry about that we also have the commands to control speed of motion now let's try pan left and i'm gonna type dash camera pan left and here we have our right to left camera motion and obviously we can do left to right so simply type dash camera pan right and now we have the camera motion from left to right so next we have some interesting commands to control the camera rotations and the first command is dash camera rotate clockwise and you can also use a shortcut for that like instead of typing clockwise you can type cw and now we have a clockwise movement that looks like an anti-clockwise movement because of this image and these kind of movements looks really good that most of the directors use in their videos so next we have anti-clockwise movement and instead of typing this lengthy command you can simply type dash camera rotate a c w and here we have an anti-clockwise movement that looks really good in drawn shorts and in top angle shorts so we have one more command for camera rotation that is counterclockwise so you can simply type dash camera rotate c c w so these are the results from counterclockwise movement that also looks really really good now let's talk about the motion command that is dash motion and we have four different values for motion from motion zero to motion four motion zero means there will be no motion in the video so let's try all of them and then we're going to compare the results so these are the results from motion value one where you can see a really really slow movement of the train so these are the results from motion value two and now the train is actually moving and these are the results from motion value three where you can see we have more motion on the smoke instead of train and at last we have motion value four which is the most impressive in all of them. But you can see we have very low frame rates in this video that doesn't look smooth. But we also have the command for this that is dash FPS. And you can control the frame rates between 8 to 24. So we're gonna try this same image with FPS command. Now simply type dash FPS and I'm gonna type 24 because the higher frame rates makes your video more smooth. So these are the results from FPS 24 and this is looking much much better than the previous videos because this video is more consistent and more smoother now let's combine all of these commands together and generate one single video so i'm gonna keep the camera motion from right to left and the motion values will be 3 and the fps will be 24 and let's generate and here we have a smooth and consistent video with really good camera movement so this is the list of commands that you can combine together to get some awesome output results. So that's how you guys can control your AA animations, AA videos. And if you like this kind of content, I have a complete playlist on AA animations. So you should definitely check it out because you will find a lot of interesting things in it. So that's it from this video. 
And if you guys find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.